Hey guys, your boy Virtus here, and welcome to a brand new video on the Unreal Engine 4 survival horror game series. And in today's video, we are going to be doing one of the very last things for our terrain, and that's going to be going over some realistic terrain sculpting techniques. So basically, what I want to do today is I want to take this rather flat, you know, painted looking terrain and, uh, you know, bring it into something that was a little bit more realistic. Now, I've actually got a couple of examples, um, couple of picture examples of, you know, just exactly what Unreal Engine 4 can do and hopefully, you know, what it's going to look like after the end of this tutorial and after, you know, we add some awesome foliage in there. So I'm going to show you a couple of examples. Some of you may have actually seen these on my Facebook or on my Twitter. Um, you know, just like a little teaser for this video, but this is the kind of stuff that Unreal Engine 4 can do. So let me open up another one, and this is kind of a style that I'm looking for. So if you look at this picture, you can see it's a little bit more realistic than what we've got now, because what we've got now is very flat, and what I want to do in today's video is basically analyze this picture here, see what they've done, see how they've done it, and then just apply some of those techniques uh, into our game and make it look awesome. So I'm going to start off by just making this picture nice and big for now, um, just so we can compare it to what we've actually got at the moment. So you can see they've got paths and that's, that's just fine now, but you can see when it comes to the grass and stuff like that, they've got like varying levels of height, which is something that we need to add. So basically we need to make some little hills, some little, uh, you know, dirt mounds, that kind of stuff. And you can also see we've got some rocks as well. And, you know, on the side of the hills, you've got the rocks. And then on the top, it's got grass. Whereas at the moment, it's all just grass. Or our rocks in the background here are just completely rock. It doesn't look really realistic. So what I'm actually going to be doing is I'm just going to be completely flattening these down in this video. And hopefully I should also start, you know, re-sculpting them and uh, possibly painting them and you know at the by the end of this video you should be at a point where you can make more realistic terrain uh, you know more realistic terrain stuff like this now one thing I do want you guys to keep in mind is that some of the elements in this picture you know we're not going to be adding on until um, you know another video so you can see like the little plants the trees and that kind of stuff that will be a separate video um, but in terms of the terrain stuff that's pretty much what I want to go over today so I want to show you how to make those awesome looking hills and dirt mounds you know paint the the rocks around it to make it look a little bit more realistic and all that kind of good stuff so let's get into it so the first thing I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna try and create a very basic little dirt mound in our scene here and I am just gonna chuck it in uh, here for now and I'm gonna go over some techniques on making it look a little bit more realistic than what we've got now so the first thing I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna open up my landscape editor uh, give it a second to open up and then I'm just gonna go to this sculpt mode for now and I'm just gonna do some normal sculpting I'm gonna turn my brush side size up because it's incredibly low for whatever reason and I'm just gonna paint so if I just go ahead and paint there that's a little bit too high for a dirt mound so I'm just gonna make one little control click here just to make it a little bit bigger there you are no it's still too big just trying to get the right kind of height here so that looks about good for now so one thing you'll notice with some of the pictures that I just showed you is they have they have sort of varying levels of height. So you've got like the floor level, then you've got another one going up, and then you've got another one going up. So that's kind of what I want to do for, you know, this little dirt mound. You know, just apply those techniques. So I'm just going to go and do that. And the way I'm going to do that, get that sort of varying level of height and the consistency in the height as well, is I'm going to just basically make this one little sculpt uh, in here just to get the height that I want. And then if I use the flatten tool, just like this, I can get the height, you know, using the little picker thing and just, you know, apply it to the rest of it. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to grab the flatten tool and I'm just going to select the top, control click and it's going to let me paint and sculpt to that height and it looks absolutely awesome so i'm just going to keep on doing that keep on going out through there just like that and that looks pretty good to me for now so that looks pretty awesome we can start to paint the edge on that i'm going to make one more level of height on here as well so i'm going to do the same thing as before one little sculpt click on there and then i'm going to use the flatten tool once again not the smooth tool the flatten tool just to flatten it 
to that height level and it should look really great in a moment. I'm going to push it all the way back to the mountains over here as well. We are going to be getting rid of all of these mountains completely in a bit and, uh, you know, make some more realistic ones. So you can see in here in our terrain now, we've actually got a little bit more detail and it looks quite nice. So the next step, I guess, then is pretty much just going to be painting it, which is quite simple. So I'm going to grab the paint thing and what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn down my brush size because we don't need the brush to be that hot, that much. Uh, a little bit bigger than this, about 200 for this. Um, obviously, you know, the exact number is going to vary on what you're trying to paint. But for me, I'm just trying to paint the edges of these. I'm just trying to make them look a bit more rocky. So I'm going to grab the rock material here and I'm just going to go ahead and paint it just around the edges like that. And, you know, just use your rock material to go all the way around the edge. You know, we can do a few other bits as well to it to make it look a bit more realistic, which we'll be going over in a moment. So for now, I'm just trying to paint the, you know, the edges of this bottom layer that we've got here. Just like that. I'm going to leave the back for now. I mean, you guys can do that, you know, whenever you get some chance. I'm just trying to keep the tutorial as quick and as simple as possible. So I'm just going around all of the edges just like this. There we are. And, and you can see at the moment it's really starting to come to life here, it's looking really nice. Obviously with some better lighting it will look a lot better than this, but you can see this is looking a little bit more realistic than what we had before, which is just completely flat, boring terrain. So I'm going to press play and I'm going to run in here. It's been a little bit slow as I haven't built the lighting, but if I run in here, it is looking good. Looks a bit tall, but you know, it is natural. And when I climb on top of it, it looks a little bit, it looks really natural as well. So the next thing I'm going to do is pretty much just paint a bit of mud around the edges as well, because you know, it doesn't just go straight from rock to mud, uh, straight from rock to grass. You can add a bit of mud in there as well. So I'm going to go and do that. The way I'm going to do that, I'm going to turn my paint tool all the way down to something like a 30, just so I can detail it a little bit. Uh, so I'm just going to paint around the edges here. There we are. And like I said, you know, you can go and do that in your own time. You can add all of the mud stuff sort of around these little hills and the rises that you've got. And it will make it look really, really nice. So there you are. So that's just, you know, one example of how we can make it a little bit more realistic. It definitely looks a bit more realistic than we've got now. Uh, once we actually start adding the grasses of blade uh, sorry the blades of grass through the foliage tool when we start adding the trees we start adjusting the light di lighting and that kind of stuff all of this is really going to come to life real nice and simple so I'm going to leave you guys to, you know, do the sort of terrain kind of stuff uh, for yourself. You know, this is an example of how you can do it. If you wanted to, you can do like individual little rises. Um, so I'm going to do one of those real quick. So I'm just going to paint on over here using the sculpt tool. Turn my brush size up. You know, so I'm just going to paint that up just like that. So it's on the flatten tool. Got to make sure I change that. There you are. And I'm just going to flatten this out again just to add that individual little rise there and uh, yeah. and one thing I'm going to do here is because we don't always want it to be entirely flat you know it's got to have a bit of variation I'm just going to actually use the smooth tool to just smoothen that out a little bit around the edges just to make it a little bit more natural and then once we've done that you know we can proceed to add some mud around the edge we can add some rock in there and that kind of stuff so let's go and do that real quick so paint and then let's grab my rock and we're just going to paint that on nice and simple. Not so much. So I'm going to turn down the tool. I'm going to change my brush size to about 100 this time and just paint it on there. So I'm only going to do it where it's looking steep because if it's, you know, proper grassy like this and it's smooth, you know, there probably wouldn't be any rock formations. I'm just going to paint it on, you know, where it should be, skipping any of the smooth bits where I can. And there we are, so that's looking quite nice. Going to add a bit of mud around this as well, just to make it more natural. And that's just going to be like, you know, around the areas where there shouldn't really be any uh, any rock. So there we are, so that's looking nice. So if I go ahead and press play, you know, we've got these more realistic foundations now. We can stick a tree on here, we can stick some grass on here, and it's going to look absolutely great. So, you know, we can really start to see our game coming together now, and hopefully you guys are just as excited for this game as I am. Uh, you know, it's all coming to life. All we've got to do now is just add a few other bit, a few other more other bits of terrain stuff. For example, we need to go over the mountains, which I'm going to leave you guys to do yourselves. I'm going to show you, you know, one quick way of doing it, which is pretty much just going to be applying this technique again after a 
flatten this down and going from there. So after we've done all of this sculpting, we're pretty much just going to add the foliage, we've got to add the water for the lake, and then we can start focusing on the gameplay mechanics, uh, things like picking up the key to, you know, unlock the door to the mansion that we're going to over going to get over there. Also, I'm still yet to actually go over like the the blocking outside of things with the mansion as well, so making the walls, making the floors and that kind of stuff, which is really cool. I'm really looking forward to showing you guys. Um, and then obviously, you know, bringing in some decorative meshes, uh, decorative meshes from third party uh, software packages such as 3ds Max and stuff like that. So yeah, definitely looking forward to that. So let's start off by flattening down this little area over here and applying the technique that we used over here all the way over here, but we're going to make it a little bit more bigger just so the player can't actually see off the map. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit and then I'm just going to use the flatten tool on sculpt and then flatten and I'm going to select like the lowest uh, bit of the terrain here turn up my brush size and I'm just going to flatten it down just like that because if you remember at the start of the tutorial series we made these really hideous mountains um, it's finally time to get rid of those basically we're going to repaint it and make it look really awesome so let's go and do that so First things first, I'm going to make my lower level of the mountain. So the way I'm going to do that is just, you know, once again, use the sculpt tool, press control click a couple of times, you know, bring it up, give it a bit of height. And this seems to be not too much height, so I'm going to give it a bit more. Not that much. Try not to hold down control click too much. Oh, not control click, just click even. Now I've got my height there. Let's go ahead and flatten this out. I'm just going to make our varying levels of height on here. So flatten it out just like that. Do, 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 do. Perfect. And you can see that's really starting to like encompass the player in there as well. I'm going to push back a little bit on the mountain so the player has a bit of room. But you can see that's looking quite nice. Now we've got to make the second layer of height again. So let's go ahead and do that. So control click, control click, let's get that up, not that much. This time I don't want it to go up by too much. Flatten it again, let's chuck it in just like that. And we're going to do one more level of height for this little edge of the mountain. Now what I want you guys to do basically between the time I make this video and the next one is just sort of apply that to the rest of the terrain. Just go around it, make it look awesome, you know, add your own twist, add your own style to it and all of that cool stuff. So let's add one more level of height on here. There you are, I'm just going to flatten this. And one thing I do want you guys to go over is just, you know, just make your mountains uh, just sort of cover the edges as well so you can't see past them. So don't leave any gaps or anything like that. Um, but, you know, you can see we painted this up here and it's looking quite nice. Now all we got to do is just pretty much paint it. So I'm going to start off by painting it all with grass and then we're just going to add like the decorative paints afterwards. So I'm going to select my grass layer and I'm going to press control click. So that's not working too great. I need to make sure I get rid of the rock which is not working too great so I'm painting on rock at the moment which isn't what I wanted to do so I've got to paint on my grass see what's going on here so here we are no I'm using the flatten tool that's why so in the paint I just gotta paint it on the paint on the grass <laughs> don't paint on the rock you know you gotta make sure you're using the right tools and stuff as well because you know you can get little mistakes like that where it'll try and flatten it to the same sort of mix of what you selected um, to be honest you're probably not gonna use the flatten tool in the painting bit anyway it's not really that useful I haven't really found myself using it um, so now I've painted it all grass I'm gonna fix up this little patch here that I just ruined that's basically going to be the player start area. And now that I've done that, I'm going to paint the rock onto the edges, add the mud and that kind of stuff. So let's try and do that. Turn my brush size down once again, just like it should be. And I'm just going to go over the edges just like that, nice and simple. All the way around the edge. There we are. Let's paint it a little bit more. 
Now, one thing I do want to mention is that, you know, making your terrain look really nice, making it look natural, especially a big one, is going to take some time. So, you know, definitely invest a lot of time into it because the results that you can get, you know, quite frankly, they are amazing. Like those pictures that I showed you, uh, that was just from Google Images. That's just an example of what Unreal Engine can do. So, you know, just put, just put your mind to it and you can create some pretty awesome stuff. So we've got our mountains there. Once again, you know, if you wanted to, you can add the mud to the bottom as well to make it more, more realistic. So just go around the edges just like that. Once again, do the same thing. And if you wanted to, you can even add you know, little streaks of mud in your rock as well, so you could go down, uh, you know, like that, sort of, so down like that, you know, do whatever you want, um, if you're gonna do streaks down like that, try not to make them too thick, as it does look a little bit unrealistic, so maybe change this down to something like 25, and just paint it on, you know, something like that, up to you, it just adds a bit of variation, I guess, you can draw all kinds of patterns on there, if you wanted to, you could even draw, I don't know, you know, anything. You could draw all kinds of shapes. You can draw anything you like. So that doesn't mean I want you guys to start drawing phallus shapes on the mountain or anything like that. But, you know, there is a lot that you can do. Just experiment with it. You guys should hopefully have know a little bit more about, you know, some realistic terrain sculpting and that kind of stuff so I'm gonna pretty much end the video off here for now guys just play around with your terrain sculpt some awesome stuff in there and hopefully ready for the next tutorial I should also have a bunch of other changes for you so yeah that is pretty much everything also guys one thing I do want to mention before I do head off is if you want to support the channel if you want to support more of these awesome videos being created definitely click the patreon link down in the description and you know if you can pledge on there even if you can't just share the word spread the video spread the love and just keep on creating guys all right see you later